Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss one more example to implement breadth first search technique. So, for this given graph, we need to identify the breadth first search traversal. So, the procedure is initially in the given graph, we need to consider one vertex as the starting vertex. So, here we will consider vertex A as the starting vertex and mark A as visitor. Then, we need to identify the adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex. So, currently visited vertex is A. Adjacent unvisited vertices are nothing but B and E. So, one by one we need to visit. First, we have to visit B. Then, we have to visit E. So, now for A, we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertices that is B and E. Both we have visited. Next, we need to consider the adjacent unvisited vertices to B that is C and F. If there are more than one vertices we need to visit in the sense, we need to break the tie by considering in alphabetical order. So, first we have to visit C, then we have to visit F. So, C and F. So, now B is over. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertices to E. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to E is F. So, this is already in the Q. Okay. So, no need to consider. Next, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to C. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to C is nothing but D and G. First, we have to visit D and then we have to visit G. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to F. That is G that is already in the Q. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to D. That is H. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to G. That is nothing but H only. That is already in the Q. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to H. So, now if you are considering, we have visited all the vertices in the given graph using breadth first search technique and this is the traversal output we will get at. Okay. So, this procedure, how we are going to implement step by step that we will discuss now. So, here initially in this given graph, consider A as the starting vertex. So, alphabetical order, the first letter or the first number, we have to consider it as a starting vertex. Okay, so here A we will consider it as a starting vertex and we need to insert A into the queue. So, here in breadth first search traversal technique, we, we will use the data structure here as Q, Q data structure. Okay, so insert A into the queue and mark A as visitor. Now, first step, we have visited vertex A. Step 2, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex. So, here currently visited vertex is nothing but A. Its adjacent unvisited vertices are B and E. So, insert B and E into the queue. So, here A already we have visited. We need to insert B and E. Since we have visited the vertex A and we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertices, we need to delete A from the queue. And there are two vertices adjacent to A. Which one we will visit first? So, break the tie by considering an alphabetical order. So, alphabetical order B comes first. So, first we have to visit B, right? In this order only, we need to insert into the queue. So, visit B first. Next, step 3, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to B. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to B is C and F. So, now C and F, we need to insert into the queue. And one more thing, in step 2, a we have visited and we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertices. So, the traversal output is A is the first vertex we have visited. Okay. And next here, this is B, E and adjacent unvisited vertex to B is C and F. Insert C and F into the queue. Since we have visited B and we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertices, that also we have inserted into the queue. So, delete B from the queue. And the next vertex being in the queue first is E, mark E as visitor. Now, this B, we have to place it in traversal output. A is the first vertex we have visited. B is the second vertex we have visited. Okay. Next, step 4. So, currently we have visited the vertex E, right? So, adjacent unvisited vertex to E is F. But F is already there in the queue. No need to insert again. Okay. So, Delete E from the queue. We have visited E and considered its adjacent unvisited vertices. And mark C as visited since this is the C is the first vertex being placed in the queue. Now, and the traversal output is first we have visited A, then B, and then it is E. Next, step 5. 
consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex. So, currently visited vertex is C. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to C is D and G. Now, we need to insert D and G into the Q. C and F is already there. D and G, now we need to insert into the Q. Since we have visited vertex C and consider its adjacent unvisited vertices also, delete C from the Q and place it in traversal output. Now, the traversal output is A, B, E and C. Next, the first vertex being in the Q is F. Mark F as visitor. Next, step 6. Now, currently visited vertex is F. So, consider its adjacent unvisited vertex to F. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to F is G. B and E is also adjacent. But B and E already we have visited and we have placed in the traversal output also. Right? So, now adjacent unvisited vertex to F is only G. But G is already we have placed in the queue. So, here the queue is F, D and G. And F if you are considering, we have visited F and we have placed its adjacent and visited vertex in the queue also. So, delete F from the queue and place it in the traversal output. So, the traversal output here is A, B, E, C and F now. Then, the first vertex being in the queue is D, mark D as visitor. Okay. Next step. So, currently visited vertex is D. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to D is H only. Only H. C is already we have visited. Okay. So, insert H into the Q. And vertex D if you are considering, we have visited D and we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertex also. That also we have inserted into the Q. So, delete D from the Q and place it in the traversal output. So, now the traversal output is A, B, E, C, F and now place D in the traversal output. Next, the first vertex in the queue is G, mark G as visited. Next step, adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex G is nothing but H only. But H is already there in the queue. So, the queue now it will consist of G and H only. And G, if we are considering, we have visited G and we have considered its adjacent and visited vertices. So, delete G from the queue and place it in the traversal output. So, now the traversal output is A, B, E, C, F, D and G. Next step, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex H. So, now mark H as visited in step 8. Okay. And currently visited vertex is H. And if you are considering vertex H, there is no adjacent unvisited vertices. So, delete H from the queue. So, we have visited H and we have considered its adjacent unvisited vertices also. So, delete H from the queue and place it in the traversal output. So, now the traversal output is A, B, E, C, F, D, G and now H we have to place it in the traversal output. And next, if you are considering, there is no other vertices we need to visit in this given graph. All the vertices we have visited in breadth first traversal order. Okay. So, this is the BFS traversal output for this given graph. First, we have to visit A. Then, we have to visit B and E. Then, for adjacent to B, it is C and F. Then, adjacent to E, already F, we have visited. Then, adjacent to C, D and G. Then adjacent to F, G, already visited. Then adjacent to D, it is H. So, this is the traversal output for this given graph. And what is the spanning tree for this breadth first search in the sense? Initially, we have visited vertex A. Okay. Then we have visited vertex B. Then we have visited vertex E. Right. And then we have visited vertex C. And then we have visited vertex F. By considering vertex B, we need to consider its adjacent unvisited vertices, right? So, C and F. Then we have visited D and then we have visited G and then finally we have visited H through D. So, this is the spanning tree for this given graph for this BFS traversal. And here the traversal output is A, B, E, C, F, D, G, H. So, this is the BFS traversal output.
for this given graph. Okay. So, here if you are considering in BFS traversal technique, breadth-wise, it will search and find the unvisited vertex and visit it first. Okay. So, this is the BFS traversal output for this given graph and this is the procedure to implement. Thank you for watching this video.